Okay, guys, this is going to be my review for Spielberg's film, Catch Me If You Can. I had so much fun with this film. It was just so great. I think it's just so fun. I think that's the thing I have to say about this one. It's just so fun to see, you know, this 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 con artist going through the years and how he learned it. It was just, this film is just two, it's two hours and 20 minutes long, but it doesn't feel like that. It just goes so, it... The, the editing, the directing from Spielberg, the acting, it was just so fun, and the story itself was just so creative and interesting, and the idea of this, and I got it on the run, and I love that they, sh they don't shy away from showing key parts, like how did he learn to lie, how did he learn to run, or fake stuff, or why is he on the run, why... Why did he choose this life? And you see that there's backstory in the first, in the beginning, and then you see what he's doing, and then you see his creativity. Like that's the thing. He's so smart in this film. Um, what's his name? Um, Aglanel. Um, what's the first name? Frank. Yeah, Frank. Frank. Frank Jr. is just so smart in this film. And I think that's what that's what makes it so interesting. Is you always question what he does next, and because the film doesn't always tell you what he's going to do, it's so interesting, because this film is, what's crazy about this film is it's shown by Frank's point of view, for the most part, yet we don't really know what he's going to do, so we watching it, really being like, what's he going to do, we don't know, whereas some films, they're like, going to give you insight about what he's planning on doing, we're here, we just watch him do it, and it's so creative, like, Ah, oh, he's gonna be the doctor. Ah, oh, he's gonna use the girls to distract the the detectives. Ah, oh. and then you're like, as it start, as his plans start to come together, like, wow, that's crazy. And then there's you know heartbreak, having to leave, you know his his um fiance, having to do this and that, and you know showing how he's how he's kind of a gray gray area villain or hero. He's he's what I love is he's a complex character where you see why he's doing it. You see that he's doing, and you see that, yes, what he's doing is not good, but why is he doing it, why did he get put in this position, and because, what, it's really what you get when you have a brilliant, brilliant, smart person doing bad things, you get really bad things, <laughs> and it starts to see it unfold, and Tom Hanks is great as the detective, and it really does feel like a great, and because it's kind of a, uh, a heist, see, that's what I love about it. It's not not really a heist, but sort of. It's it's a it's a twist on a a heist fugitive film. That's kind of what I like. That's kind of what it's like. What do you get when you get Steven Spielberg, Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio, and mix it with a fugitive esque story and a you know heist story and you know kind of con story at the same time? You get this com com the culmination in this kind of entertaining film from start, because it is, I think it's great attributes of guys, it's so fun to watch, I was like, oh my god, I can't not watch it, because as the story unfolds, it's just quick, quick, going from location to location, to hotel to hotel, to girl to girl, to, you know, place to place, to, you know, to job to job, like, he's like a substitute teacher, now he's a pilot, now he's a, you know, doctor, oh, he's back to being a pilot, and now, and then the, the ending, and then it, 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 it's funny, it has great um, emotion and heart to it. Like, the ending was so great where he wants to see his mother and then figure out that his mother's completely moved on from him. I think it's a great way to end because you've always seen at the beginning his mother kind of being... And they really antagonize his mother. That's kind of the surprising thing about this one. Is they, usually they antagonize the father in, in a lot of these different films. Like, the father's an abusive father, but here it's interesting to see the mother. But it's a, con but it's a real thing, you know, moving on and, and leaving your past life. And... I don't know, I think this film is just wildly fun to watch. Um, anyway, stay tuned for videos coming right at you.